tell us about yourself. Assalamu alaikum ji, my name is Agha Murtaza Ali. I uh, am here at the Lahore Polo Club and I'm a polo player. I'm also an, an umpire. I've also managed teams. I've also coached uh, young kids into polo. So polo has always been a passion and uh, actually horses have always been a passion and polo just came naturally. Although personally I started late in life when, uh, and it was a decision which was either I start now or I'll probably never be able to play this professionally. I played a lot of polo throughout the last 20-25 years. I've uh, played up to 18 goal handicap which is uh, pretty high from any international standard. I've been uh, the manager of the national team twice in 2007 when we toured New Zealand and in 2017 for our training camp in Spain and then onward for our playoffs in uh, Iran. Both were amazing experiences. Uh, I've also personally been uh, associated with the, the development of young polo players in Pakistan, especially at an earlier age of 9 to 10 years old. And I've been running a voluntary camp for them for the last 8-9 years. Uh, since horses and polo is a passion, so one feels associated with it in a, in a far deeper way than uh, any other uh, uh, passion for that matter or any other event. What kind of a connection have you felt with horses throughout your polo career? So you see the thing about polo is your passion for horses. Now as a sport, 80% of the sport is about the horse. And if you are not in sync with the horse, if you are not connected with the horse, you really won't be able to get into uh, the position of the, of the game that you really want to. So your riding skill, your, your, your passion about horses, your understanding of horses, the more hours you spend in the saddle, all this will add towards the development and improvement of your game. So when you say horses, so it's not just limited to you know, one horse, one game. You need to have a whole, a whole line of horses throughout your life and, and even at one point when you're, when you're playing, you need it to have at least four horses to play one game. And horses keep coming and going in your life as a, as a player as uh, time moves on. Uh, sometimes you get good horses, sometimes you're very fortunate you, you get a good horse and at that point you wish you had four or five of these uh, uh, cloned up which is by the way happening in polo now, big players are cloning horses as well. And in, in, in terms of uh, the management, until you spend time with horses, until you understand them, until you take care of them, they also know that this is a sport. They, they actually play with you, they're your teammates. They're very much a, a part of the, uh, of the game when the game is happening something to inspire the younger generation into playing polo? So there's a saying that says that, uh, you know, it's, it's the sport of kings and it's, it's the king of sports. Now, I'm not going to comment on, you know, sport of kings, that's, that's just a side. But I personally do feel that it is the king of sports. And, and that's because it just takes so much of, 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 of yourself. And until you're invested in, in polo fully, you really cannot feel the true essence of the game. And like any other sport, which I'm not really sure of, but polo, if, when you go back home, it's in you. Every shot that you played, every shot that you missed, every horse that, that went well, every play that you made brilliantly, every hook, every ride half, you sort of remember that and you sort of relive that. And that's where the passion comes. It's like an addiction. It's like something that you want to be a part of again and again and again. And, and one draws inspiration from this because it is all encompassing. It, 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 it completely reveals who you are as an individual. Like most sports do, it, it does reveal the character. But polo really actually tells you what the person is about. And actually, there's a lot of tradition associated with the sport. Uh, things like, uh, if you've done wrong, it, it, it will be pretty obvious. And you should let that go and uh, it will be evident. Uh, when, when you're umpiring, you have to be impartial. When you're playing, you have to be a gentleman um, about it. You cannot wrong hook somebody. You cannot ride somebody off in the wrong way. So actually, Polo, if you keep playing uh, with, with this mindset of what it's truly supposed to be, 
it will actually build your character. What would you tell your younger self? Well, there's a lot of that one when one looks back there's a lot one feels that you could have achieved you could have done this differently you could have done that differently if i was to tell something to my younger self is to if you ever have a passion in life uh, just go for it don't wait there is never the right time if you think horses is your passion and polo is your passion and and whatever is it is that excites you that you deeply and truly feel about just go for it of course keeping your studies and education uh, at hand but invest the earlier you invest the better it is and if i was ever to tell something i would have i would have probably wanted to start this passion much much earlier maybe in my uh, teenage years i i would have pursued this far more aggressively than i did uh, in the end, I really want to thank Asjid and the, the YouTube channel that you're watching. And if you really like what you see, because it does promote sports and it, and it does promote the, the sportsmen of this country, please do press that like button. Please do plus, press that subscribe button and uh, follow this channel. And uh, thank you once again and hope to meet up again some other time. Thank you.